Real midnight's gonna come Real wounds at your door The blood on the tears Now what are you gonna do With your days left in the sun
Amen. Good evening. This is our very first Shrewsbury Folk Festival. And it's an honor to be here with such wonderful artists. I know I promised a couple of you after the afternoon set that I was going to dress up and wear something a little nicer for... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, the hours just kind of <laughs> bled into each other. And tell them the truth, everything's filthy. Well, we that. have no clean laundry left. There, there's <laughs> that. I could have gone out on the grounds and bought something. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll go shopping. It's called Lodestar.
Columbia, Canada, now residing in Nashville, Tennessee, Mr. Steve Dawson. I mentioned earlier at, uh, at the other stage that this year I became part of a project called Our Native Daughters with Rhiannon Giddens and Layla McCalla and Amethyst Kia, who is here at the festival and is playing tomorrow at noon at the Sabrina stage. And that's where we're going to be at noon tomorrow. She's wonderful. If you hadn't had the chance to hear her yet, she is one of my favorite singers and writers out there, period. Um, tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at noon. That's right. Tomorrow at noon. I'll probably be wearing this shirt. <laughs> I might have washed it in the sink Not at the hotel for him. Quite enough time. So he won't smell. <laughs> Usually our daughter loves to do that, actually, when we're on long tours. And you, sometimes it's not easy to find a laundromat, depending on the travel schedule. And our daughter loves to take a bath and wash the clothes. <laughs> it's, like, and we didn't put her up to it. She just like, saw still, me doing still, it one day and was like, that looks fun. Like, really? It's still pretty shaky moral territory. <laughs> when we you do see it your daughter in a tub kind of <laughs> scrubbing away uh, two weeks' worth of we tour do, laundry. We do it together. Happy as a lark, though. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that has anything to do with the intervention she had with us recently, where she told us while she loved us and while she loved touring, she loved school more. <laughs> so she starts kindergarten on Monday, and, um, and you know she decided to sit this tour out, this end of summer tour. So maybe it's, maybe it's all the bathtub scrubbing of clothing. <laughs> She's gotten sick of it. Um, but I want to um, dedicate this next song not just to her. This is one that I recorded with our Native Daughters. I wrote it. We spent 12 days together in Louisiana, Rhiannon and Amethyst and Layla and I. And we wrote a bunch of songs, some of them together, some of them individually, and then arranged them together. And it was my first separation from our daughter who was at the time four and a half when we were writing the record. It came out this year, but we were writing it last year. And it was really tough to have our first separation, but I felt so incredibly fortunate to know that she was in the lap of love, that I have this supportive partner who is an amazing dad and steps up to the plate when I have to be away. And, um, you know, sur just surrounded by this loving village. And we're so lucky, and she's so lucky, and every single child d deserves to have that kind of loving village and loving support. And um, right now, that's not happening for every child. And in particular, in my, I emigrated recently to the U.S. for love, um, and so as a new immigrant there who, you know, can't vote and kind of watches everything unfolding, it's been really tough. And. Uh, particularly tough in the last, the last few months with children being kept in unspeakable conditions at the border and every single child deserves the love and the support of a whole community and, um, and I, hope, I hope we can change it that soon. So for our daughter Ida, but most especially for the families who are separated right now and for the parents who don't know if their kids are being properly cared for. This is called You're Not Alone. I'm 
rocks and bugs and angel wings. Every little shine and everything. Anywhere you go, you're not alone. You're the North Star and the compass. Always finding something wondrous.
in Montreal. Get a little uh, extra ring around the 140, 150 mark there. We are doing a bunch of requests this set. We did a, a CD signing earlier, and some of you were kind enough to request some songs that we actually wrote, so that's pretty exciting. It's much more difficult to fulfill requests if people request songs that other people wrote that you don't know. Yeah, that's if somebody comes up and says, hey, play Billy Joel, Uptown Girl. <laughs> we might get through a verse or two. It's also just not nearly as satisfying. <laughs> so, uh, I wonder why I thought of that song. I don't think I thought of that song in 21 years. Just popped in my head. Uh, well, this was one of the requests. It's a tune called Super Lover from our new record, Love and Water. So cold Who 
the indomitable Steve Dawson. Steve Dawson. Um, I have to tell you a little bit more about this gentleman. Some of you may already know, but he is um, a Canadian national treasure. He is not only clearly a very accomplished musician and wonderful person and great friend, he's a really good dad and a good husband too. Just putting that out there. Um, he runs a label in Canada called Black Hen Records that over the last 15 years or so have put out some of my favorite Canadian musicians and bands. Um, he is a massive ambassador of the arts in Canada, multi decorated Juno Awards, those are our Canadian Grammys. Many uh, Juno Awards to his name for his work as a producer, as a musician, uh, and as a label. He now has a, a, a Black Hen South in Nashville, the Hen House studio, and we've had the great pleasure of working with Steve as an engineer and a producer, and of course a bandmate. He, run, he has a fabulous podcast, if you are into getting in deep with different artists that you love. He has one of the best podcasts going, in my opinion, called Music Makers and Soul Shakers. Check it out. He's, he's interviewed your favorite musician at some point. And um, he's Also, just... origami. Are you into origami? <laughs> he's really skilled in the gentle art. I don't know about origami, origami but well. he's a I... very, very, very... Right? Um, Multi-dimensional artist, and it is my pleasure uh, to to introduce him to all of you if you've not if you've not yet met him. Yes, Steve Dawson. For me personally, he's been a musical mentor since I moved from Montreal to across the country, across Canada to Vancouver, and I was still very much in the closet as a musician when I got there and I started seeing Steve's bands around town and he was one of the first people to be really encouraging to me and to give me some serious opportunities as a singer and serious stages to play on. And so I'm very grateful for, for this man's friendship and musical mentorship. So we made our record, American Flowers, an acoustic record, all in one day at Steve's Hen House um, around Thanksgiving 2017. and. We did it, we got done so quickly. At the end of the session, I said, hey, do you know this, do you know this old Hoagie Carmichael song? I really love it. And of course he knew it. And so we recorded it and it's the only cover that we've ever recorded and put on a record. We always, we write our own songs and that's what we generally record, but we made an exception for the late, great Hoagie Carmichael. <laughs> Tu donnes mes bras 
I could meet and have a nice cup of tea with. <laughs> tea? You guys were singing that and I walked backstage, it was like a dream. There was a bottle of Bordeaux right there. <laughs> Seemed like it'd be very rude to not pour a glass of that during. We I have to dedicate this next tune to our dear friend Hedley Jones. This is his request. It's an oldie for us. This actually dates back before we got the courage together to put all the eggs in one basket and be in a band as well as a marriage and <laughs> um, tour together constantly with our little one. Um, this song was from JT's solo record. I put solo in these sort of, wasn't really solo, it was all his band, JT in the Clouds, and all my old band, other band, Poe Girl, and he and I sang together on the whole thing, so it was a little bit cheeky for him to call it a solo record, actually. That so takes a certain <laughs> act of imagination on your part to think of it as a solo record, but... Uh, we, no, we looked it up 
she sang and played on every song, and I guess the, uh, the industry term for that is duo. <laughs> and uh, after that, we, we switched. Uh, and, uh, this is the title track of that, uh, what's, what's the right terminology? Um, cult classic? Cult classic cult just classic. means that yeah. very, very few people listen to it or, <laughs> or heard it. Underground. Uh, classic mountains for us, but it's really about. Hadley Jones listened to it. That's right. And it's this one's for him. <laughs> it's about tiny electric seahorses and wonder. You know, it's easy to get to a place where you think you can no longer be amazed, right? Where you think you've seen it all. Um, but that's a, that's a rough place to be. Get out of that place. Uh, find a way to get yourself amazed. Mr. J.T. Neal. 
Thank you. Uh, do we have time for two more? I'm, I'm so uh, lost in the moment. I'm, I don't know. I don't. Oh, well, all right. We, uh, that's, that's more minutes than I imagined, and that's wonderful. <laughs> Um, we, uh, We're going to keep it going with the request line. Hey, let me uh, just say that uh, it's a very nice thing that they do. Uh, afterwards, I think we, they set up, well, you, this is our first time, so you know this better than I do, but I think that they set up a little satellite merch signing area, CDs and, and, and vinyl. We'd love to say hi to you. Uh, we're great signers. We have, we have beautiful handwriting. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's something really magical about a Birds of Chicago CD signing. I, I, don't, I can't really put my finger on what's so special about it. Or, and I don't think it pays to talk about it too much, because if you talk about something really magical too much, it becomes less magical. But I, uh, I do think we should try to experience it together. Uh, if, if we know one thing, across the board, in all countries, CD sales are on the rise. They're escalating. Uh, it's a boom time, we know that. Uh, some of you may fear that the income is so great from CD and album sales that we'll think, well, we don't have to tour anymore. Uh, I want to assure you that that's not the case. We will, we will keep going out and, and playing live shows no matter how many albums. Uh, yes, there's... A, I, you should, I, I should stop talking for a second. You should just say that. that I'll say it. Uh, October, we are going to be back for a proper tour of your fine country. Uh, October 20th and November 7th. Uh, who's this on the request line for? One of the lovely people that we met earlier today, and I'm sorry I didn't learn every single name, but I remember every face and each conversation we had. But this was. They're beginning to suspect that nobody's requested um, these songs. We're yeah. just. No, they did. They did. We Remember well the verses. I just and the, and this was requested by. I'm gonna take a shot. Barbara. Barbara requested this. Barbara, here you go. She'd be alone. Now she loves her nieces and all her nephews. Green tea and the good view of the butterfly weeds and the cone flowers out back behind her home. Nothing's funny, not a damn thing's funny. I, I love her so long, I believe that she loved me. I promised her, she promised me.
play tricks Would not belong to the flat out quick To the sticks in a bag of old leather Alone in his room with the ghost of past summers He can't see you now, we can't see you now Sunlight through a camisole One hand over the black of the sun Wet by the window for all in one so much. I just want to say an extra, extra special thanks to all the amazing crew and volunteers, and in particular tonight here on the monitors, we have Mike, and at the front of house we have Drew, and they are amazing. There's Brad, and there's Robin, and there's Joe doing all the beautiful announcing, and, and there's our dear, dear agent, Chris Wade at Strata, who is the reason that we get to come here and visit your beautiful country and visit this beautiful festival, so a big thanks to Chris as well. And Drew and Mike, you guys are amazing. They're turning over bands, you know, every, it's, it's a lot of work. They're working harder than all the bands put together, so these guys are amazing. Um, this, this is our last uh, show. We've had a pretty crazy run crisscrossing from, well, British Columbia. Uh, to Chicago, to Denmark, to here. Uh, and then we have a couple of days off and then we go to Switzerland and then we go to upstate New York because we know how to plan a tour. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't like to say no in festival season because they're... It's true, they're too and, good uh, to say no to. But my larger point, or maybe it's a smaller point, uh, was that tomorrow we'll just be hanging out uh, walking around, listening to folk, maybe having a folk drink uh, <laughs> or two. But uh, let's make merry together. There's so much where, you know, we'll be at that Amethyst Kia show at, at noon That's tomorrow. Right. We'll meet you uh, at noon at Amethyst show. <laughs> but we're just really looking forward to being able to experience the uh, wonderful village you all have put together. So, yeah. Uh, this is a song for friendship, a song for uh, kind of. Uh, leaning on your friends and uh, them leaning on you back and forth and uh, we do a lot of leaning on our friends and, and uh, we are forever grateful for, for this is the first song that I wrote for uh, Alan and I to sing together uh, it's called Trampoline Thank you. 
waters have cleared me The spring is coming back to the land It's only four degrees out But I feel it's true And I cannot find the moon The stars are little pinpricks But neither is his wounded Neither is his sick Oh, everybody's wounded Everybody's sick I say that Neither one of us is wounded so cool to you we're gonna be so mean i'm gonna catch you when you fall out through i'm gonna throw oh, over yeah. you like a tag the Thank you.
us. I think uh, is there time for one last tune? We have time for one last song. And we're gonna leave you with uh, the only other cover we've been doing recently. It is uh, it makes me it makes me love just the power of the mingling of cultures from across the waters and through time. This is a tune written by that great folk singer, Peter Tosh, <laughs> but it, it is embedded in a gospel song called O oh Sinner Man, and I know that that has its origins right here in these British Isles, so it feels right to, to sing it out tonight with you all, and I hope you'll sing with us. Um, you'll get it, it's call and response. And, and we've amended the lyrics a little bit uh, to reflect some of the things happening lately, but thank you so, so much yes. for being so kind to us. We've had a beautiful day with you all. You've uplifted us. Um, we think the world of you, so thank you, thank you, Shrewsbury Folk Festival. Long may you prosper. And, uh, you know, I think that I don't have to tell you, uh, you know, we, we preach love and we preach empathy. Uh, and kindness, um, but another part of folk music, and has always been a part of folk music, is you can you can preach love and kindness, but that doesn't mean that you don't also believe that wicked men should be called to account for their actions. And uh, uh, so, in that spirit. We will uh, we'll sing down presser man.